What is going on to you cancer crabs out there? So there's a link in the comment section below called a link tree link. Click on it. It will redirect you to a website which has all the ways for you to financially support the channel. So I can most definitely keep the show going. Shout outs to everybody that has come through so far. Thank y'all so much. Um, so let's get into it for you cancer crabs. Oh, great news. My hair is actually growing back. You may not be able to see it on camera, but yeah, my hair is actually growing back. I'm just going to go ahead and say if my hair grows back like full with the hairline and everything. Oh, yeah, I'm, you know, the hair comes to the front hairline and everything. Yeah, I'm getting the, the line part and all of that, you know, go ahead and get my hair cut every couple of weeks. Yeah, all of that. Um, Y'all going to see a new me, you know, if it happens. Hopefully it does. <laughs> but for you cancer crabs, you have the Ten of Cups, the ten, uh, Two of Pentacles and the king of wands so you cast crabs the ten of cups right now let me see let me check it over okay so the ten of cups in this reading right is all about you cancer crabs being done with a situation You've exited, closed the door behind you. It won't ever manifest between you and these people ever again. I talked about this a couple of days ago, about how it is that you cancer crabs have got someone that very much so is attached to you and wishes that you cancer crabs would come back. Now a lot of you cancer crabs are starting to see that you can't have those people in your life because all it is that they want to do is drain you dry of everything <laughs> they want to drain you dry of everything and what I mean by that is anytime you have some money give me some they don't want to take the time to understand your emotional moods they don't want to take the time to understand you every time it's always some sort of issue it's some sort of fight. And the two of pentacles, the two of you need to be on the same team. The two of you need to have the same or similar uh, goals, similar values. You know, for instance, it's like looking at a birth chart or two birth charts. One of the ways in which you, you know you are able to be compatible or one of the easiest ways to know if you'll be compatible with someone is for you to look at yours and theirs their birth chart if the two of you are able to look at your birth charts and excuse me the two of you have similar zodiac signs or the same zodiac signs in close to or some of the same houses then it means that the two of you are highly attracted to one another. Or I should say, to be more accurate, because I want to get this right. I don't want to give out false information. It means that the two of you can make it work for sure. So it's the same thing when it comes to values between yourself and another person. You want to be able to make sure that you and another person actually are complementary to one another, right? Sympathetic to one another. The King of Wands now represents how, and if you can't make sure that you and another person are compatible with one another, then you will have to essentially leave. You'll have to go. The reason why it is that I say that you'll ha you cancer crabs will have to leave is because what's the point of sticking around somebody that they don't they don't want to take the time to get to know you. They know that a lot of you cancer crabs usually have money. You come from some money or you're coming into money because plenty of cancer crabs usually get rich. Conor McGregor, Mike Tyson, Rose Namajunas, Elon Musk. The list goes on and on and on and on and on and on. But um, a lot of you understand a lot of you understand that. 
And a lot of you understand that it needs to, like I said, teamwork make, needs to make the dream work. The two of you have to actually work as a good team. Otherwise, if the two of you cannot make it work as a team, why exactly would you try to even make it work with them? And you're right. So the King of Wands represents you being done with the past more so because these two cards really represent the past that you cancer crabs have experienced but it also represents the future in the sense that you will put them in the past if they are not careful and this is not some sort of euphemism for i'm talking about when i say put them in the past i mean you won't hang out with them anymore they will become an ex as opposed to a person that you have in your life now and will continue to have them in your life. You'll excommunicate them. And the evidence to this is not only the King of Wands, yes, but the evidence to this is the moon. I'm seeing that there's a King of Cups that comes up here. And this King of Cups represents, once again, the past. It kind of explains the situation that you Cancer Crabs have lived before, where it's like you Cancer Crabs very much so. It, it explains it. These three cards explains it. The whole top row explains it. But it explains how it is that you Cancer Crabs have had someone that you were very interested in essentially end up being really a waste of time for you to be with because they really wasn't about they really weren't taking you seriously they didn't take themselves seriously and to a certain extent they really didn't take their own life seriously and where that was going to go so because they were unable to take it seriously guess what happened they very much so had to deal with the consequences of you cancer crabs doing what ten of cups leaving because you felt like you were the one pulling all the weight you were the one that was making the progress in a relationship you were striving to become better but they weren't really trying to become better along with you and as a result you cancer crabs had to leave them alone the moon and the king of cups now is about how since that's the case the moon is about you trying to you the, the moon is about you already know that you're not supposed to be together with them so what is it that you cancer crabs did you cancer crabs tried everything that you possibly could to make sure that it's time for you to actually leave them alone but the king of cups represents they saw you starting to pull off and they didn't really want they they would reach out to you they even trying to reach some of them may even be trying to reach out to you right now. But you cancer crabs just won't answer that phone. Won't do it. You won't do it. You won't answer that phone because you already know that the two of you are not compatible. And like it is, I said before, the cutoff game for cancer crabs are immaculate. If I could learn a little bit better from y'all, which I do, I learn from all the zodiac signs, I learn from everybody, because I, I, I love to learn, I learn from everybody. I want to learn y'all's cutoff game. I think your cutoff game is absolutely immaculate, Cancer Crabs. The best in the business. <laughs> the best in the business. The two of cups here. So you cut them off. They're, some of them may even be contacting you, but you're still not answering. You don't. You want nothing to do with them. You don't care. The Four of Cups over here represents you, Cancer Crabs. You you know you understand that they have some issues that they have to figure out, and you, Cancer Crabs, respect it. But you cancer crabs also understand that they're going to have to figure it out on their own. That's the best thing for you to understand. When it comes to trying to see if a person is serious about you, you do not 
exist in a relationship with them. When you are unclear about if a person who has a track record of being with the foolishness is trying to get at you. You shouldn't judge them too, too harshly or extremely harshly because they could always, you know, change certain things around. I mean, Malcolm X started out where he started out. Look at how he turned out. You understand what I'm saying? He turned out to be very much so a historical figure, you know, is the point that I'm trying to make. So you don't necessarily want to knock them and write them off. But at the same time, what it is that you want to do is you want to give them some space and see if they actually will live up to their word and build themselves up. So maybe this person was talking about, right, Four of Cups. So maybe this person, I'm not saying 100%, but maybe this person was talking about how it is that they're trying to change. Maybe they wasn't talking about it. But you Cancer Crabs was like, look, regardless of whether they were talking about it or not, you saw that in them, that they've got their own issues that they're going to have to deal with. And that it's not up to you, Cancer Crabs, to try to save them. So you Cancer Crabs, stop trying to save them. You stopped trying to save them. And you Cancer Crabs went on about your own business. The Four of Wands represents how because you you know what it is that you're looking for there and they just can't offer it to you. I'm, and when I say exactly who this person is, I'm talking about somebody that you probably was connected to, somebody that you were connected to romantically or you want to be uh, connected to romantically that you was like, you know what? This person has issues. You dated them for a while. You realized that this person wasn't a very good mix for you with you because they weren't really going anywhere. So you can't really hang out with them too, too long. Otherwise they will drag you along with them. So the four of wands represents, you're looking for a home, you're looking to create a home and you can't do that with somebody who is dysfunctional. So the page of cups now is about how you cast crabs, you have to move forward with your life. They, they can't expect you to just stick around and wait. You gotta move forward. So the high priestess in the world now is a good sign. It's always, it's usually a good sign to end the readings. If you get the world card, it means it usually is a very good sign. The world represents not only your opposite zodiac sign and Capricorn, right? But these two cards is about how it is that you have disappeared from their life. So that means that there's not a lot of stress that's going to, or at all, any that's going to be coming towards you because you do not have these people in your life anymore, Cancer Crabs. You have essentially left them alone. The High Priestess, however, represents your continuing to do your own thing. But I also see, though, you still have them very much so if they if they know that you have a, a YouTube, Instagram, I don't know, uh, Facebook, TikTok, uh, profile they are most definitely still checking it out and they're checking they are paying attention to how you cancer crabs are having a lot of fun because the world usually represents not only enjoying yourself but it also represents gatekeeping the the world can the world can also represent like i said where i get gatekeeping from was the world represents the garden of eden in it can represent it depending on the reading, depending on the cards that are around it. So, right? So you cancer crabs are gatekeeping yourselves. You know, you're making sure that, you know, you're not trying to save everybody. You're not trying to save people. You cancer crabs want other people to be able to save themselves. And if they can't save themselves, then they're up the creek without a paddle. But they're watching it how it is that you cancer crabs are blooming and y'all are doing fine, just fine, without them. Yeah. Happier without them. And I know it sounds cold, but happier without them because they were the ones bringing you down. You know, you cancer crabs probably still like them and love them, you know. Otherwise, a cancer crab, listen. Listen, if a cancer crab don't like you, yo, if a cancer crab don't like you, a cancer crab ain't gonna hang out with you. 
That's why, that's the reason why does I be saying to myself like, yo, Cancer Crabs, y'all could be frustrating because I love y'all so, so much. I have, I have, I know plenty of Cancer Crabs in my own life off camera and stuff like this. I know plenty of Cancer Crabs and it's like a Cancer Crab ain't gonna hang out with you unless they rock with you, okay? They, they not doing it. They not gonna hang out with you unless they, unless, or unless you giving out a free lunch, a cancer crab is not gonna rock with you. If you're not doing either of those two things, they're not gonna rock with you or hang out or even be seen with you if a cancer crab does not think that you have some sort of value to you. The problem that a lot of you cancer crab, that I have with you cancer crab sometimes, right, is the fact that y'all are not straightforward enough. Like I, I wish that y'all was a little bit more straightforward and more direct about what it is that you want so that you can get the things that you want and and none of the things that you don't want but that's my own personal let's clarify the world y'all be thinking that what if the person does if what if the person turns on me then the answer is simple you just don't associate with them anymore you you do a pretty good you do a pretty great job in making sure that anyway. So to clarify the world, hold on, hold on. So the world have the king, excuse me, you have the emperor, king of the world, temperance. Then you have the seven of pentacles, the nine of wands. Ace of Pentacles to clarify the world. Again, the world, and you have the Emperor, King of the World. So once again, you're having a lot of fun. I don't see a lot of blockages in your way. I see you cast crabs doing your own thing, enjoying your life. You're just doing it single for a little while right now. You know, you haven't necessarily caught anybody that, that catches your eye. You're still willing to talk to some people, get to know some other people. But you're concentrating on yourself. The temperance represents, and now you're a little bit wiser because you've been through this type of interaction with that person. Now you have a better understanding of what it is that you need to do and where you need to be in life. And that you cancer crabs are actually a lot better off than what it is that you originally thought. If there's somebody else around in the picture and all it is that they're doing is just wasting your time, then it's time for you to actually leave them alone. So the um, the Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands is about you, Cancer Crabs, also is, is about um, this. Well, the Seven of Pentacles is about, uh, you know, you just want to make sure that people are not looking at you like a come up. The Nine of Wands represents, but, you know, sometimes it, it, it does suck to have people who you you like, you know, not really be up to speed. And not everybody can go like what Nipsey Hussle said. Not everybody in life is going to be able to keep up with you when you actually want to become better. And then the next and then the last card is the Ace of Pentacles, because you cancer crabs understand that time is money. You know, you know, you're not just supposed to be born just to be an F up your whole life. You have to actually make yourself something while you're here. Otherwise, what's the point? But that's pretty much it. I had no idea that I talked for that long. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos.